Robert says, hey Doug, what are your thoughts on RNC cranks? I saw Caden post yesterday and also Mike feed before complaining. I'm not sure what Caden's post was, I don't know, but I did watch a little bit of Mike's drama with them. Um, I don't know. I don't know enough about them. I imagine they had a bit of an issue. They admitted that they had a bit of an issue and they changed it. So I imagine right now they're pretty solid. The only thing I'd be wary of is like, when we sell things, what we want to do is minimize risk. And uh, so it's like, if I'm selling you a $10,000 car, you want to be pretty confident that when you buy that car, nothing's going to happen. Or you want to be confident that if something does happen, I'm going to take care of it because I sold you that car. And um, one of the reasons I work so closely with Dan's comp is because of the fact that like we had somebody that it, from me, he bought a bike from Dan's comp. The, uh, the hub broke. He reached out to the manufacturer. They said it's not their problem and Dan's comp took care of it, even though it wasn't Dan's comp problem. And so like from that, that guy's going to be like, okay, I'll buy anything from Dan's and in the unlikely event that something happens, they're going to take care of me. And you're thinking, where the hell are you going with this? And what I'm getting at is when Mike had that issue with the RNC cranks, RNC, from my knowledge, didn't really do anything about it. Um, now, I could be wrong. Maybe they did send him a new pair. They did take care of it. But from a second video, it sounded like they kind of just blew him off and he's trying to flex his YouTube muscles on them to get free stuff. And I don't know, a bunch of, bunch of nonsense. But the vibe I get from RNC is that if they really aren't as good as everyone says they are, you're kind of SOL, Robert. That's what it seems like. It's like you spent $500, you're stuck with cranks, whether they're good or bad. I don't know how true that is. Again, I've never ordered from them or anything like that, but that's the vibe I get. And so, you know, cons consider that before you buy them. It's like, I'd be comfortable buying something from a brand that will take care of it and stand behind their products like S&M and stuff like that. Um, I'd be a little more weary about a brand who doesn't. So that's, that's my two cents on it. I don't know. I don't think I'd ever buy them just because um, it's, it's a little sketchy and that weight saving to me isn't the end of the world. Um, there are a lot of other places you can save weight for a lot better price, like $500 on cranks. That's what is that? 150% more than normal cranks cost to save uh, eight ounces or something. It's like you can, you can do that with some tires that cost $40. But anyway, that's, that's my two cents. So.